Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be talking all about how to get the designer look for less when it comes to shoes. I've done a number of these designer dupes videos and they're always one of my favorites to share with you because as I've said time and time again, price doesn't necessarily dictate quality and you can get really incredible quality at a much lower price point than designer. So I've got a whole bunch of shoes here and actually a couple of bags as well that I wanted to mention which are great options if you want to get that designer look but you don't quite have the designer budget as I like to say champagne taste on a beer budget which is definitely me. Now the first pair of shoes that I want to start with is going to be a bit of a Marmite one. I know many of you are not going to like these and will be very pleased when this trend goes away but it's the dad sandal and actually the Chanel dad sandals and I have the most incredible affordable dupe for them here. These are from an Australian label called Tony Bianco and I have not seen a pair that looks better than these when it comes to the leather quilted version. Um, they are also incredibly comfortable. Um, I could walk in these and not get a single blister. I like the fact that they are really practical and functional, but then they do kind of have that very trendy vibe to them as well. Normally I wouldn't jump on a trend this quickly, but when I saw these, um, given how much I've been loving my Birkenstocks, I thought these would be a great option. And Birkenstocks are probably a little bit more of a softer way to dive into that dad sandal trend. I have seen a couple of other dupes for the Chanel dad sandals. So I can't have a pair which are patent and they're a little bit less, I suppose, obvious. <laughs> and then I also saw a pair from Elias May, which I thought were really sweet too. I'll pop some photos on screen as well as links down in the description box. Oh, and before I forget, these fit true to size. I got the European 40 and I'm an AU9 or US9 and I wear a US9 and a half in Everlane shoes. And yeah, they fit me like a glove. Okay, this next one's probably also going to be not to everyone's taste, but I thought I would mention them just as this particular style has been very, very popular. It is a dupe for the Ro Ginza flip flops. So I have this pair here again from Tony Bianco and they've got some really incredible designer dupes at the moment. So perhaps just a website worth looking at and checking out in general. But I thought that these were probably the nearest similar pair that I've been able to spot. They have that very classic kind of thick sole, the leather strap across the foot, which is really nice and thick. One thing I do want to flag with these though, they are not comfortable <laughs> all. Uh, there's going to be a really dreadful break-in period and actually I've been putting off wearing them because I know that. So you probably have to wear a compede or a blister of some sort um, in between your toes because it does tend to kind of pull on your foot. Again, these ones fit true to size and actually I find that my heel doesn't reach the end of the shoe. So very comfortable and even when I walk forward, they don't fall off and they don't slip back so that my heel's hanging over the edge. Um, I also have seen a very similar pair at our kit, but I believe they might have sold out and I think Topshop did some as well. Uh, if there's any other options, I will link them down in the description box. Seeing as we are talking about the row, I thought I would also mention that there is a great dupe for the row bear sandals. So these are these barely bear strappy sandals, the style of which is really inspired by the 90s in my opinion. Atmos in here from the Iconic I think is a really incredible option. I've seen so many other retailers doing similar ones though. Topshop and Ace to name a few so again I will link some of the options down in the description box below. Let's break things up a bit with a bag dupe. And the one I wanted to mention is from Everlane and it is an incredible dupe for the Celine So Sangle bag. Now that particular style of bag was introduced to the Celine brand by Phoebe Philo and I think it's just really classic. It's a really great shoulder hobo style bag or bucket bag um, and really practical too. Um, I really love this one from Everlane. One because it is high quality materials, really great Italian leather, very smooth. Um, I've actually found this to be pretty hard wearing and I've not babied it at all. I've actually been using this as an nappy bag and it's very convenient size for that tucks really nicely underneath the shoulder. I have actually done a review of this bag, including what fits inside, if that is helpful. So I will leave that linked down in the description box below as well. Now let's talk about boots because I know many of you who are watching this may be in the Northern Hemisphere where it's currently heading towards winter. I think probably the boot that everyone is wearing, there's two brands. One, the Bottega Veneta Chunky Boots. Now these are obviously again, not to everyone's taste, but I think they are very utilitarian and can add a really edgy, cool look to your outfit. Now the two dupes that I have seen, which 
I think are really fantastic are from ASOS and Topshop. I'll link those down below. I know there are probably some more expensive ones, but for me, I think this is a very trend-led design. Um, again, like those first two pairs of shoes that I showed you, so not necessarily one that I would invest too much money in unless you believe that you're going to get wear out of it beyond the current season. The other brand which has really kind of jumped on that whole chunky boot bandwagon is Prada. And I actually think I prefer the Prada ones to the Bottega Veneta ones. I've seen so many incredible dupes for the Prada boots, including from And Other stories Sam Edelman, Steve Madden and Mango so there's a whole lot of price points but I just think you know this is the kind of boot that is really going to see you through the colder months and I think having that tread on the bottom is also going to be very practical if you live in a climate where it does snow. A few months ago I filmed a video called items I regret decluttering I'm going to pop that up here if you'd like to go and watch it after this one and one of those items that I mentioned were my Chloe Susanna boots. Now I managed to find them for an absolute steal on eBay but I kind of felt like at the time they weren't necessarily my style. Now when it comes to dupes I feel like there aren't quite as many around anymore as these shoes aren't as popular as they were uh, maybe sort of eight years ago. However I do think that these ones from And Other Stories are a really great alternative. They feel very inspired by but not exactly the same. You do really get that similar look but there are significant points of difference as well. Let's talk about some more feminine silhouettes. Now I personally love Adore's A Pump. I just think that they are very elegant and refined. Uh, it's a little bit more interesting than a classic court shoe. And so I have been on the hunt for a really long time for a dupe for the Jimmy Choo Dorsey pumps. And when I saw these ones from Sam Edelman, I felt like they really ticked all the boxes. They look very, very similar. I like the fact that they have a very practical heel. These are very comfortable actually to walk in and I haven't gotten any blisters from any of the times that I've worn them and I have had a number of occasions to do so. They do fit true to size. I have them in the US 9. As mentioned, I'm a European 40. But I just think these are a really great option and they come in so many different colors. I also have them in the black suede as well. And yeah, just a really good one for the office too if you want something that is a little bit different. Another kind of designer dupe that I spotted, which is a Manolo Blahnik dupe are for the Manolo Blahnik um, ballet slipper slides. These ones are from Atmos in here and they're actually made from a synthetic upper um, which kind of looks like suede. I love these to wear with skinny jeans or with kind of more of a straight leg jean. I think that they are really pretty and they can add a more feminine touch to maybe slightly more masculine elements to your outfit. So if you've gone for sort of a big oversized blazer with straight leg jeans, putting these on on your feet will really just completely change the entire vibe of the outfit. Another brand which I saw which has an alternative for these shoes is Shuts as well. So I'll leave those ones linked below too. I also spotted a couple of other dupes from Tony Bianco which I thought I would mention. The first of which I wanted to share are from Gia Couture and they are the double strap sandal mules. Now I feel like these are really kind of a sculptural quite cool type of a heel. Um, I love the fact that the straps are slightly padded and it creates an interesting silhouette on the foot. So the Tony Bianco ones pretty much look very similar. I think it's a really great way that you can get that look for less. The other sandals which I saw on the Tony Bianco website which look like an incredible dupe are for the Ro Gaia sandals. So these have a very sort of school girl feel to them. They remind me of the type of shoe that I would have worn when I was younger um, and I am all here for for it. They're really chunky. Um, I can imagine these looking incredible with a little sock or something like that and a really sweet dress or with some shorts and a big sweater. If you want some style inspiration I'd actually recommend checking out Brittany Bathgate's Instagram because I believe that she has these shoes um, but yeah I just think they are really fun and it's a really great alternative. Continuing on the theme of mules, the Bottega Veneta Woven Mules. I saw that Seed Heritage have a really similar pair. I believe they also have a sale on this weekend as well so probably a good time to kind of jump on those if you've been looking for that type of style. Additionally, the Amina Mwadi uh, pointed toe mules, the ones with the diamante straps across the foot. I think these are really pretty and perfect for the festive season. However, of course, they come with a really high price tag and are also very difficult to get your hands on. Sam Edelman have a really fun alternative, which is not going to break the bank and is again, a way that you can 
can get that design to look for less. The final item that I wanted to mention is a dupe for the Bulgari Serpenti bag, which I just think that this bag in particular is so stunning. I love the fact that it's got a really structured silhouette and that iconic serpent design on the latch. I think it's just absolutely beautiful. Kurt Geiger have some really similar options, which are only going to set you back a couple hundred dollars. So a really good alternative if you like that look, but don't quite have the budget to go and buy a Bulgari bag. Oh, actually, I just forgot another pair of shoes, which I have here. And again, these are going to be the shoe that's not for everyone. Not only are they very expensive, but they look very worn. If you don't know what shoes I'm talking about, they are the Golden Goose Superstar sneakers. Uh, it took me a really long time to understand what the hype is with these shoes, but not only are they incredibly comfortable, but they also have a bit of padding in the heel, which gives you some extra lift and some height, which I think is what makes them look very flattering on the legs. Um, I did a whole review on the best basics for sneakers, which I'm going to link up in the cards uh, if you want to go and check out my other sneaker recommendations. But aside from the high price tag, I think these are fantastic. Some of the alternatives that I've seen, which are a little bit less expensive, the first one being from Good night macaroon. These ones have a shielding interior, which I think is great if you are heading into winter. The other place which I saw did a really great dupe is Steve Madden. So great way to get that sort of same look with the um, star detail, which I, to me, I think is the thing that I love along with the, um, on my particular pair that I got, this lizard detail um, on the heel tab. But yeah, those are kind of all of the designer dupes that I wanted to mention in today's video. I've done quite a few of these in the past, so I will have all of the other videos linked down below um, and maybe my previous one I'll pop up in the cards as well because I believe a lot of those shoes are still available. If there are any other shoes which feel designer inspired or kind of will give you that look for less please let me know in the comment section below as I love checking out your recommendations I hope that you enjoyed this that you found it useful and got inspired to maybe go and pick up a new pair of shoes if you're on the hunt for some but thank you so much for watching and spending a little bit of your day with me I will see you next time with a brand new video see you soon bye